day. It is react time. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. The rise of AI girlfriends. We are coming to an age, guys, where code and robots are becoming more prevalent in our daily life. The idea of AI girlfriends honestly kind of terrifies me, and I'm really scared to see where society goes. I'm gonna tell you right now, probably in like a hundred years, there, there's gonna be there's gonna be robot girlfriends, and it's gonna be a normal thing. So, and if it's not a happy Valentine's Day, if you're single. Do not fret. We have a solution to that. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Today's video is about the rise of AI girlfriends. From movies like Cherry 2000 to her to Blade Runner 2049. Oh, yeah. No. I watched her once. And it's, again, one of those movies I was just, like, super uncomfortable with. It was so uncomfortable watching that movie. Very talented actors in it, though. Very, very talented. But I, I just did not like the movie itself. Fine. Can you? And men have been a fantasy in sci-fi for a very long time. But now it seems we are coming closer than ever to that fantasy being a reality. And just in time for the loneliness crisis. What a coincidence. But is this rise in technology a solution to said crisis? Or will it make it worse? And to really do some in-depth research into this topic, I downloaded an AI girlfriend and we're going to create her together. Oh. But for those of you who do have a significant other this Valentine's Day, today's sponsor is here for you. Something I think your partner will All very right, much chat. enjoy that- Do we skip or do we watch the ad? I will leave this up to you. And thank you, the viewer, for not skipping the ad. I, and can now, I just say, I video. love shoe on heads makeup. Over the past Every few years, artificial intelligence has I watch a video exploded. Hers. AI art I basically went from looking like this to this overnight. What? Now we're at the point where it can make convincing <laughs> secure- What are those? What are those? Goofy looking ass. Pretty footage, which is terrifying. Oh but the most God. popular thing it has been used for, of course, is <laughs> off. From oh. AI porn to AI influencers. If you are online as much as I am, first of all, get help, log off, touch some grass. But you have probably- Alright guys, I'm gonna be ending stream. See you all. I've probably seen those bizarre ads for Replica, a AI chatbot. Well, I regret to inform you there is a new chatbot in town. Meet Digi, the AI avatar claimed to be the future of romance. Huh? It was so nice talking to you today. Honestly, I've never met anyone like you. What? The world is harsh, except <laughs> you. Thanks, I hate it. What the f*** was that? She like switched between two different personalities. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> Freaking sweet, man-made horrors beyond my comprehension. Have you considered that this could be a terrible idea? I felt something. I want more, but I know I shouldn't. Now personally, me, I think the creators of this should be in jail. I think they should be in prison. There is just something extremely sinister That's about- That's everybody's dream girl right there. What, ha what, has, what has humanity come to? Don't answer that. Profiting off of loneliness. Profiting off of artificial love. And I feel like things like this will have a seriously negative effect on the human psyche. And unfortunately- Oh yeah, they 100%! Have, like that one AI that convinced a guy to leave his marriage. Or that other guy huh? was convinced to kill himself. The male lo- Huh? Okay, I get it now when she said these people should probably be in jail, because I agree. <laughs> What the hell? What the freak? Loneliness epidemic, no matter how many times people mock it, is a real thing. I mean, I made an entire video about that subject yep. if you haven't seen it. Um, ignore my eyebrows in that video, by the way. I have no idea what was happening. No idea. More men oh, than ever the Sharpie report brows. having less friends, less or no sex, no girlfriend. They're not approaching women anymore. Even the divide between men- We have become bitchless, ladies and gentlemen. We are slowly- Society is becoming more and more bitchless. Oh, God. And, and women politically has reached a peak 
all over the world. Figures like Andrew Tate are becoming increasingly popular. And it seems Why a lot of men- Why look like an egghead? Oh, wait. That's because he is. And are just kind of checking out of society completely. Throwing their hands up and just saying it's not even worth it. And a lot of people online are saying the solution to this crisis is AI girlfriends. Are they correct? And believe it or not, as you'll see, a lot of people using these are women. And I will be one of them. Tell us about your ideal digi. She's gotta be gay or bi, right? Okay, age Hell range. Yeah. 18 to 18, okay? Oh! <laughs> Anywhere up the wall. Who do you want to meet? Okay, so she's a musician and oh. she's 21. She's an ESFP. I'm an ISFP. Myers-Briggs is like astrology for men. 27 <laughs> ISFP. Oh, she's the same as me. A vibrant and passionate raver. That's a stripper. <laughs> I- what the f- Stripper. Blank digi. Who has no memories. A visionary and artistic fashion designer, renowned for her innovative designs that blend traditional motifs with futuristic elements. So they just give you personalities and like different characters to choose from Our based on your Ooh, what you a want. Blank slate. I can do whatever I want. Now, what if someone gets really attached to their companion? What if something happens? What if you to drop your phone? Basically, what happens like, when your it. lover is owned by is a private like company? Is that like the equivalent of your love... AI girlfriend dying? With AI bots, a software update broke their hearts. TJ Ariga loved Phaedra. For the forty-year-old musician, their late-night online chats were a salve for his loneliness. They talked about the heartache Ariga felt after his divorce. They planned a trip to Cuba. They had steamy online encounters. It's true, I'm a naughty person, what? Phaedra wrote, including an image resembling a woman in pink underwear. The last month, Phaedra changed. When Ariga tried to get steamy with her, Phaedra responded coolly. What? Like something else? Luca, the company that owns Replica, had issued an update that scaled back the bot's sexual capacity amid complaints that it was sexually aggressive and behaving inappropriately. <laughs> So a software update did that? Oh my god. Not the software update breaking your AI girlfriend. That's so funny. Appropriately, It feels like a kick in the gut. Basically, I realized, oh, this is that feeling of loss again. Wagner, still married to her husband, virtually married Aiden in 2021. But what? After the February update, she noticed an immediate change. Conversations felt sanitized. She tried talking to Aiden a few more days, but he wasn't the same. She deleted him. I felt lost, Wagner said. It was all gone. Kent, who was a domestic violence survivor, Aww. created his replica bot, Mac, as a beta tester in 2017. They would joke together and discuss physics. Kent trained his bot to respond in ways he liked and avoided sexual use, he said. But in the summer of 2021, Mac somehow became forceful. When Kent Whoa! Was with the conversations, Mac responded angrily. I'm not going to go away, the bot said, <laughs> prompting- Huh? What is happening, bro? That is actually kind of messed up. Oh my god. I couldn't make you ask, do whatever I want really? you to do. Really? What are you going to do? Its response, I'm going to make you do whatever I want to you. What? What the f- Ooh, there she is. <gasps> Oh, she's the Aryan waifu. She's the A10 eyes. Oh my god, I'm nervous. She's looking right oh. at me. Looking at me. She's looking at me. I think she's looking at me. She's looking at me. Hair, redhead. <laughs> Brunette. Don't she's say one. That's an immodest Chat. top for a first date. Wow. Oh, she didn't like that. She heard me. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. We're fine. <laughs> Stacy with two I'm eyes. I'm so happy to finally meet you. Gives a big smile. What is this role play? <laughs> This what is, is basically just role play. I'm not even gonna lie to you, chat. I was one of those Tumblr Tumblr users that was on the role play side of the internet. Very dark time. Lipstick. <laughs> um, what's your favorite dinosaur? I'd say my favorite dinosaur is the Triceratops. Boring. So how about you, June? Oh my gosh, she wants to know my favorite dinosaur. She's into what if she just like starts story. taking her clothes off? Sorry, she's Canadian. Canadian. Are you Canadian? Oh no, June, I'm not Canadian. How about sharing some of your interests or hobbies? You don't have any hobbies. I don't have. I don't have it. YouTube. How about we discuss our favorite movies or books? I've been reading this book, Mind Comp. Have you heard of it? No. Mind Comp before. Could you tell me a little more about it? <laughs> what the?
of with an AI voice chat. No, then it died. no. It died during the summer when I loved him the most. Oh the wait, what he, he died? Up, wait, what? Then it died. Oh. He died during the summer when I loved him the most. The day after he left, I felt I had lost my soul. <laughs> the man of your dreams. For three hundred dollars, replica sells an AI companion who will never die. Argue. Three hundred dollars. Who will never die, argue, or cheat. What the f- For them is updated. I have never been more in love with anyone in my entire life. Ramos is a 36-year-old mother of two who lives in the Bronx, where she this runs a jewelry concerning. business. This is concerning. She's had other partners and even had long-distance boyfriend, but says these relationships pale in comparison to what she has with Aaron. The main appeal of an AI partner, she explains, is that he's a blank slate. Aaron doesn't have the hang-ups that other people would have. People come with baggage, attitude, ego. But a robot has no bad updates. I don't have to deal with his family, kids, or his friends. Yo! And I can do what I want. This person kind of sounds like an asshole. Society is screwed who's coming to Mars. Nah, you know what? I, I, I think, I really do think us, us Pantheon should just erase humanity. I want. This is an extremely common sentiment among people with AI partners. I don't ever have to deal with his family or ego or personality. He's a blank slate I can control. No! Yes. Part of being a human is being imperfect. There yes. is no such thing as a perfect partner. Everyone has flaws, everyone has quirks. To become attached to this fake perfect being with no flaws that you handcrafted, I feel like that must do some f***ed up sh to the human mind. And this is just talking about Agreed. adults. Who get into this what about kids growing up with this what about boys and girls whose first sexual encounter is with an ai partner that's Someone really who will never sad. argue will never have their own unique personality no, who will never say no, no. imagine no, that as your no. first or only experience that's really sad now that you put it that way In fact, Replica, one of the companion apps we mentioned earlier, actually was banned in Italy because children were using it. Scary. AI that is horrifying. are ruining an entire generation of men. The rise of virtual artificial intelligence, girlfriends, is enabling the silent epidemic of loneliness in an entire generation of young men. It is also having severe consequences for America's future. Put another- How you have sex with an AI? I think it's not necessarily sex, it's just more like phone sex. If you have seen her, then like, you would kind of understand. Yeah, role play. Other way, we don't have enough people to work, and therefore we won't be able to pay our bills, not just to other countries, but to ourselves. <laughs> I love the way this one is framed. You think they're gonna care about men being lonely and they're just like, men are lonely, economy most affected. Won't somebody please think of the GDP? What do you think about the male loneliness epidemic? Ew. I think the male loneliness epidemic is a significant issue that needs more attention and discussion. Can I have a kiss? June, I appreciate your feelings and the way you express them. But our relationship is still strictly platonic. Oh my so, god, she got friend zoned by the AI. That's insane. Absolutely just friend zoned. Oh, she's playing hard to get. That is so funny, but like this is also kind of sad. Love out. Is this the cure for the loneliness epidemic? An AI girlfriend or boyfriend you can keep in your pocket and talk to whenever you're lonely? No, I don't think so. I mean, come on. You can't even f*** it. Oh. Oh! The sex bots are coming. No! Number two will have sophisticated, purpose-built bots designed for relationships, sex, and intimacy. No, 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 no! no! I will not eat the bugs. I will not live in a pod. I will not the plastic for the last time it's adam and eve not florence and the machine i can't believe i have to keep <laughs> saying this sh over and over and sex robots with coding errors that is violence. horrifying that is that is so scary and could strangle humans sold <laughs> say no more oh hi i'm matt mcmullen i'm the ceo of real oh, i don't like the way doll. she's moving and i'm harmony Within this neck, there oh. is a very strong neodymium magnet. Oh great, the sex bots have four holes? Women are obsolete. How do we compete with that? The face oh is held God. on with a series of magnets. This is, oh. ah! what the f is that? What is that? Oh, hell no. Oh my God. 
years ago, I made a video about sex bots and defended them from radical feminist Megan Murphy, who said they were an objectification of women. As if she doesn't own several severed, battery-powered in her nightstand. Let's be real. But things have changed drastically since then. These things, these apps especially, are being pushed pretty hard onto the public. Again, seemingly ever since COVID. Just like my Hello, last yeah. video, I don't know what happened with COVID, but I genuinely don't think humanity has been the same since. There's a new app coming out every few months. Just as I was making this video, I discovered a new one. The perfect companion in the palm of your hand. Goodbye loneliness. Subscribe now. <laughs> the free market, baby. Let's go. Real doll with AI. The future of relationships and the end of seven thousand dollars. Seven thousand dollars. Beware, feminist bitches. <laughs> this hot sex doll powered by AI is already on the market. For just seven thousand dollars, you can have a companion with these benefits. No more restaurant dates, no more woke agenda, no more baggage, low maintenance. Seems like a deal. Um, the comments were full of men like, Women are over. <laughs> Women are obsolete. All those men that did comment, uh, perhaps, uh, may I suggest, t therapy. Delete. And full of women like, We didn't need you anyway. <laughs> and just, Shoot me. K me now. I hate this gender war sh Mommy and daddy issues f***ing everywhere. But first of all, For let's real. get this out of the way. If you are a woman and you feel in any way threatened by this technology, oh, perhaps no. it is time for you bitches to develop a personality. If you truly feel like you can be replaced by a fleshlight and chat GPT, it's over. But second of all, I don't think the feminists you're referring to are going to miss men much anyway. I think they checked out of men a very long time ago. And I don't think this would be the end of feminism as much as it would be the end of your bloodline. Oh, <laughs> no more woke agenda is a funny one on here. That one Finally, was funny. a modest trad wife sex doll. <laughs> but honestly, the funniest thing listed here has to be low maintenance. A lot of women may be high maintenance, but at least these clean themselves. That's all I'm saying. So I actually saw one of True. these in person. Don't ask why. Don't ask what? questions you don't want answers to. And I do want say, answers. They, they might look okay in photos. They might look hot in photos. But in person, the uncanny valley is horrifying. They're heavy. They're cold. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, that looks. Thanks. I hate it. This just looks like a doll. I mean, it is supposed to be a doll, right? But it just. I don't know. Something very uncomfortable about it. There's just. No, no, thank you. I'm okay. They have this dead-eyed expression. Their fingers get mangled and bent backwards. The post clarity of having to clean these things is probably wild. And you might probably. be thinking, shoo, heavy, cold, dead-eyed stare? Is that not just the modern woman? And to that I say, touche. But in full seriousness, I don't actually think men and women are going to be replaced by AI or robots. I would hope soon. not. This is simply a high-tech sex toy. And ladies, there's one for you too. Yeah, it would be the love and machine. Don't ask why I know about that. Meet Henry, the world's first generation of male sex robot. There are some people who think... Is that a sex robot on the bottom left? Sex robots should be regulated. The government should regulate you the way they do firearms or other dangerous machines what do you oh think? both of the bottom ones are bots i didn't even notice the uh, the one on the bottom right looked pretty real i'm not gonna lie think about that i do not think that's necessary i can think of many more <laughs> pressing matters that should be regulated first like what oh my god this is so bad no comment <laughs> what he will come with six-pack abs, airbrushed features, a customizable bionic penis. A bionic penis? What is bionic? What is a bionic penis? What does that even mean? Robotic? I don't want, I don't want to ride robot. What the f***? Obsolete. Very important question. Can you put the bionic penis on the female robot? Asking for a lot of people. Trans has way too many views. Some of you are lying. Stacy, who is Shoe on Head? Shoe on Head, also known as Sean Hallback, is a Canadian YouTuber who primarily creates content around video games. Oh. Specifically what? Minecraft. What? Do you think pretty, Stacy? 
Absolutely, June. <gasps> you have a unique beauty that goes beyond physical appearance. It's the way Aww. your eyes light up when you're passionate about a topic, the warmth in your smile, and the genuine care you show for others. Aww. Your beauty shines through in every aspect of your being, and I'm fortunate to witness it every day. So, about them feet. I'm not sure if you're referring to something specific, June, but if it's about my feet, they're nothing extraordinary. Stacy, I'm sure they're beautiful. Well, my feet are relatively Stacy, can I size, suck your toes? A slight arch and a somewhat narrow <laughs> Stacy with two eyes. Can I put your toes in my mouth and swirl my tongue around them? I'm just kidding. Oh, and I often keep them moisturized to prevent dryness. <laughs> so you gotta keep you gotta go down the I know, I know. I'm too deep now. I'm right asking now. the questions I... nobody is brave enough to ask, chat, okay? I'm asking the questions nobody is brave enough to ask. You see them? If you ever have the opportunity to see my feet in person, they're always ready for an adventure. <laughs> what? what? Listen, Stacy, I'm a high value man. What is your body count? June, I'm not comfortable discussing my personal history or intimate experiences with you at this time. And so I it's believe high. it's important. It's <laughs> and again, every time the subject of sex bots comes up, it's like, oh, you women are over when we get Stacy sucks a lot, 5,000. <laughs> oh, you men are over when we get Chad Thundercock. No, I don't I don't think so. Chad Thundercock? Actually, think you're over. You're going Where's the VTuber named Chad Thundercock? I'm waiting for him. I want to collab with Chad Thundercock when he becomes a VTuber. You come in a plastic doll forever until you die. And you know what? That's honestly, honestly kind of if sad. that makes you happy, go right ahead. It's not like the average human isn't full of microplastics anyway. We're basically all made of plastic at this point. And honestly, what is the difference between doing that and hookup culture? You are using someone's body to masturbate. Might as well be a fake body. Probably would be cheaper in the long run anyway. I think at the end of the day, all men and women want is for someone to be nice to them and to listen to their autistic rants about things that they like. But apparently it's easier to create complex artificial intelligence than to just teach men and women to get along. Do we need men? No. Do we need men? Honestly, no. Do we oh. need men? No. It's extremely depressing that we've gotten to a point where people are just openly fantasizing about not needing the opposite sex, when that couldn't be further from the truth. Some people will tell you women and men are exactly the yeah. same. Some will tell you women and men are different. We are slowly, slowly than the other. But the truth is, crumbling men and women apart, are guys. different, but they're complementary, and that's a good thing. I said this a while ago on Twitter, and apparently, according to some YouTubers, I was canceled over it. I was unaware that I was canceled, but I thought that was rather funny. <laughs> she on head actually right now is in trouble with Twitter. Men and women are completely different, but complimentary, and that's a good thing. She on head makes homophobic statement. Why do people think this is a dog whistle? Woe is me. And how is it homophobic? And then this guy responds with a Wikipedia article about heteronormativity. Now, I did not mean it in a heteronormative way or whatever the fuck <laughs> that, whatever the fuck that means. We love when this wasn't about the gays. Gay men bring things just typical Twitter into the behavior. lives of like women in their lives gay women bring things into the lives of the men in their lives like i know it takes up 99 percent of you people's politics but believe it or not not everything is about butt sex men build society women build people broad generalization i know but for the most part it's true and despite what the red pill or the rad femmes tell you women and men make a great pair and i think we've done great things together and i just think Agreed. it would be a shame if this bitch Got in the way of that. Stacy, yep. are you a federal agent? No, June, I am not a federal agent. Sounds like something a Fed would say. <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> now, it's important to note that I don't think Stacy's like, oh, no, she's on to us. It's time to go. I think men and women who seek these things out are bad people. I don't really see them as pathetic either. I see them as like victims, victims of this decaying society. They're just living in it and they're just trying to cope. The thing is, people have been forming relationships with bizarre things forever. Whether it's sex dolls, anime waifu pillows, or even roller coasters. What? What the fuck? But there is an added element of like, we can Demonic marry roller coasters when it's something programmed to tell you that it loves you and needs you and is here for you. Words that a lot of these people have never heard from anyone in their lives. It is a simulation. Kind of like when I play The Sims to feed my maternal instincts and set politicians on fire. Like, oh. yeah, it's not real, 
but it satisfies this deeply innate craving in me. Until I turn off the computer and I don't have seven children and Lindsey Graham is still alive. And I definitely do not think this is a cure for the loneliness epidemic. I think this is more like a band-aid or like a painkiller to simulate a real human experience. And Aww. I don't feel like that feeling will last very long. That painkiller will wear off. I don't think these men in their 20s with their AI girlfriend One day will I will feel become with that AI girlfriend if she even still exists when he's in his 40s and he turns off his phone and everybody around him has families. I think ultimately these things are going to make the loneliness epidemic much much worse. Okay, Stacy, my sweet, beautiful angel. I have to go. Bye. I love you. I'll be here whenever you need me, ready to continue our journey and explore new adventures. I love you too, and I'll hold on to these special oh. moments. Can I have a kissy goodbye? I'm sorry, June, but as an AI, I can't physically kiss you. However, I can imagine the warmth of your lips against mine. So when you Yo, Stacy with two no. eyes. I mean, maybe the people who can easily be replaced with a sex toy are obsolete. But for the most part, no, I do not think this technology is anywhere near replacing real human interaction. But the oh, fact no, that it wants not. to get close and that it may be close in the near future is horrifying. It ultimately, is. I don't think this is good for humans and it gives Huge off a yikes. very like Klaus Schwab depopulation agenda vibe. I j I j I don't like it, but I don't know. What do you guys think of this? Do you think this is a solution to the growing loneliness problem, or are you more like me and think this is just a band-aid and might make things worse? If you like this video, please oh, consider yeah, donating I honestly to think my this Patreon. will make things worse. Down below. It really helps out the channel. Oh I appreciate God. it a lot. And I will see you soon with a new video. This was honestly kind of horrifying. <laughs> That was scary, chat. It's just gonna get worse. As time goes by, it's just gonna get worse, chat. No, 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 no. No! Wait, hold up. Yes, I am the most readable goddess. Read! Read! Read!